I'm Rob Kircher and welcome to our 1905 Cottage Restoration. This is an ongoing series of episodes with my wife Barbara and I restoring this newly purchased diamond in the rough behind me. Now call us crazy, a lot of people say we are, but we believe that we can turn it into an absolute showstopper. However, we also know that there are many inherent problems. There are electrical problems, plumbing problems, insulation problems, and a myriad of other problems still hidden within her walls. And trust me folks, they are there. So stay with us as we spend time, money, and effort transforming this old cottage into an incredible restoration. Coming up this week, I'll be repairing old house shingles, then scraping, sanding, and priming the exterior walls. Next, I'll be creating a heart-shaped flower garden from small pieces of Medina stones, then mixing as dirt with my special fertilizer blend that I call fertilizer on steroids. Speaking of Medina stones, I'll be creating a curving knee wall of large ones with an arbor and a door. It's all coming your way in this week's episode. And folks, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. As always, it is most appreciated. Thank you so much. As you can see, I'm sanding this side of the house. Now, this is the south side of the house. So, this gets all the heat of the day. Uh, and over time, it has uh, uh, caused havoc with these shingles because it has curled them, it's raised them, and so on and so forth. So, what I've done is I've gone in and nailed them tighter. And at the bottom, you can see this new course of shingles that Barbara primed. And uh, I just went over the old ones and uh, instead of taking them off. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to caulk every single one of these. And hopefully, if all goes well, I'll be able to paint this side of the house uh, by, well, let's say lunchtime. <laughs> I tend to take extra steps. And what I've done thus far with the south side of our house is I use caulking and every one of the gaps where the shingles are, as well as along the top under the eave, just below the gutter, uh, because I just really want that really good seal. Plus what it does, it, it just covers up any little crevices and gaps that might exist and from nail holes and what have you. Again, going that extra step, I'm gonna put a coat of uh, primer on this first. You can use any kind of a really good quality primer. I happen to like kills, so I'm using that. I don't skip when I, when I use my primer or any paint for that matter. The other thing is, it's a little windy right now. So even though we have a possible impending rainstorm, uh, the, the wind is giving me the perfect conditions to dry this primer very quickly. As you can see, I was able to get the first coat on this part of the uh, laundry room area. Now, <laughs> here's the thing. Uh, yesterday, when I was working on this part of it, I just started to put the blue on, uh, and we had a tremendous, and I mean tremendous, downpour uh, to the point where it washed a lot of my work right off the wall. So I had to get up early this morning, repair that, and, um, and now we're in good shape. And it looks like we have a sunny morning. However, the uh, forecasters are calling for rain around uh, uh, 11 o'clock, 11.30, which is about an hour and a half from now. So uh, I'm gonna uh, make haste, get this on, and hopefully uh, they're wrong with their timing. So anyways, uh, we're getting there. It's a beautiful morning, and I'm so excited about my newest project, and it's right behind me. 
what I've done is I've taken the smaller Medina stones uh, and started to create a, uh, like a heart-shaped little raised flower bed. Like most people, I don't like weeding. If I have to, I'll do it. But if I can eliminate it, I'm going to do it. And I do it by putting down, as everybody does, uh, this garden fabric. Now, my friend Alan down the street came over last night with these amazing flowers. And so I just sort of stuck them in there uh, just to keep them uh, alive, if you will. I have another neighbor who gave me some poppy seeds. And they're just starting to come up now. They germinated. And I'm going to scatter them throughout here as well. Now, I have a formula that I use for fertilizing the soil. And uh, I've used it elsewhere, and it's absolutely unbelievable. Um, it's like, uh, I call it fertilizer on steroids. It's a combination of potting mix. I don't use miracle Grow, by the way. This is potting mix, uh, mushroom compost, and um, cow manure. Now, I'm going to take a, uh, a leap of trust here, and I'm going to use a different kind of compost for my sunny flower bed. Instead of the mushroom, and I've been looking for this for a long time, and I finally found it yesterday, is um, lobster and crab compost. So, wish me luck, stay with me, and uh, watch me create this, uh, uh, hopefully, a very bountiful, uh, sunny flower bed. I'm not exactly sure what these plants are, I said I got them from my neighbor, Ellen, and uh, she has an extensive yard uh, with many, many uh, plantings and so on. And uh, she just came <laughs> over with a wheelbarrow full the other day, and uh, she said, here, put these in the ground. So I did, <laughs> but I don't know what I'm going to get. I want to say some of these are bird lilies, but they're not, but they're in the day lily family. Um, so I don't know. As I mentioned earlier, uh, I have a special mixture here, but I added one more ingredient to it. I have a mushroom compost as well as a lobster crab compost. And I have uh, cow manure and then I have a really good planting mix. So all of that is in here. And I'll tell you something, if this doesn't give us a real kick in the butt to get started, I don't know what will, but uh, it's so much fun. This is one of my favorite times of the day. Uh, I love early morning. I love its peace and tranquility. And I love the fact that I can water my plants and uh, just this wonderful, wonderful uh, time of the day. It's just a, it's a pleasure to be alive. It's a pleasure to be out here. Well, you may remember from previous uh, episodes, I had uh, a large pile of Medina stones right there where that barren spot was. And I finally put them to use by creating this little, what I call a knee wall, uh, that kind of uh, winds around the front of the property. And uh, you can see the yard is a disaster beyond that. Got a lot of weeds, so all that's got to be cleaned out. Uh, but uh, we just love it. We love the way it winds around and uh, just uh, has an interesting look to it. I left a 48 inch opening here uh, in our knee wall, and that's going to have a fairly wide, probably a two foot wide uh, arbor that's going to have lattice in it that's going to match the lattice on a portico with some rafters that I'm going to scroll out. So it kind of not looks like the cottage, but it'll fit with the style uh, and, and character of the cottage. And all that will be painted white. And then I'm going to have a gate in here, which also will be white, which will be sort of the proper entrance, if you will, to our garden. By the way, all these stones were on earth from our property at various places. This is the back side of my knee wall and I have filled it with dirt that I unearthed frankly from various parts of my yard. Now here's my plan. I want to have flowers that are ever blooming from spring through fall. And what I mean by that, I want to have flowers that bloom in early spring, 
mid-spring, early summer, mid-summer, late summer, and early fall, and maybe even late fall. So that's the plan. In other words, I want to have a potpourri of ever-blooming flowers in this area. So wish me luck. Well, I hope you enjoyed episode 16. Coming up next week, I'll be installing a vinyl picket fence bordering our hosta garden. And then I'll be dealing with stubborn, stubborn, stubborn tree roots and rocks galore as a clear spot for a 10 by 12 paver patio where our new harvest table for six will be located. Talk about rain and mud, you won't want to miss that one. So don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. As always, folks, it is most appreciated. Thank you so much.